I think Bartoli has probably had the worst take I have ever heard in my entire life. I swear, it's bizarre, it's out of there, it's just downright disrespectful. What's up, Tweener Heads? Welcome back to another Tweener Head Tennis video today here on our channel. If you are new to the channel, hey, how's it going? My name's Phil, and this is where we talk about tennis in a more casual way for you guys to understand what's going on and off the court, and just to have a little bit more fun with the sport of tennis. Now, I am talking about Marion Bartoli. If you don't know who Marion Bartoli is, she is the 2013 Wimbledon champion. She has earned a career earnings of a over $11 million. She has been as high as ranked as number seven in the world, number th 14 in doubles too as a career high, and she has two backhands. She is well known in the tennis world for having one of the best runs at Wimbledon, one of the most unique strokes on the tour, being very successful with them, one of the best French players that have come into our era and she retired at a young age but when it comes to talking tennis she recently has been in the news for saying that she, we should be taking away doubles and giving their prize money away to the singles players who are just in challenger tours or who are struggling that is the dumbest i have ever heard in my entire life she was recently on a tennis podcast called tennis majors which include the likes of noah rubin tennis player as well as behind the racket creator, as well as Ben Rothenberger, a New York Times journalist and big tennis Twitter advocate for certain things that people may or may not agree with. The clip that showed her saying what she said was downright, what's the word I'm looking for? Dumb? And, and I know I'm not gonna make myself fans, but I think we have to say it. I just don't understand all those doubles competition you're around. I understand the Ring Grand Slams and the Olympics because they're part of tennis history and everything. I mean, I've been to some tournaments now with my player and I see they have crews. It's like they have six persons around them. I mean, even a player, single player, when I used to play, we couldn't afford to pay, to pay six person to travel with us full time and they couldn't afford to pay six people and they just play doubles. Why don't you get some of that money to the qualifier players or to someone who is playing only the challengers. I, I just don't understand because doubles, you just don't make the same effort as a singles player. You know, don't practice so much. Your, your routine is different and, and they keep going week in and week out and getting that money when actually the other ones playing challenger are really struggling. So I, I don't know if we have to stop doubles completely entirely, but to get less money and to give that money towards the qualification. Now, don't get me wrong, there is a reality when it comes to doubles. Doubles does not bring in as much revenue as singles, but doubles is still an entertaining part of the sport of tennis and should definitely be considered a part of the tradition of tennis. There are athletes and tennis players that specifically focus on doubles, and that's totally fine. Like, people are making a living off doubles. They love the passion of tennis, they love the sport, and they want to continue to compete. They want to continue to make a name for themselves. If they can't make it in singles, they play in doubles, and that's just the reality of it. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying people do make a living off doubles more than singles sometimes. But the way Bartoli phrased her sentence when she said that they should take the prize money from doubles and have less competitions for doubles. Like, she doesn't understand why there's so many competitions for doubles. They should only be for the Olympics and Grand Slams. That, that just doesn't make sense to me. Like, this is a woman that was ranked as high as number 14 in doubles and made a good amount of money from doubles as well. Not just from being a good singles player, but also from being a good doubles player. She wouldn't have the same amount of prize money in my mind if she didn't have that career high of 14 in doubles and played as many tournaments as she did for doubles. I think she won two WTA titles as well on the doubles circuit. It's a little bit hypocritical when she came out and said that. And the main point that she was trying to make during this whole spiel was that she was saying that she's seen doubles players that have come around with entourages with six people and she doesn't understand why that they have so many why do, do they have that amount of money why do they need that many people and that that has nothing that has nothing to do with you that has no that is not your concern if they travel with six players and that's how they choose to spend their money that's totally fine that's they want to bring those men and people, they want to bring their physios, they want to bring their coaches, they want to bring maybe their friends or their family. That's totally fine. That's not your judgment call. That's not your judgment call to say, oh, we're giving them too much prize money, we should cut it down. No, that that has nothing to do with the amount of prize money. That has nothing, that's their own choice. That has nothing to do with you, that has nothing to do with the situation. That's just, 
That's just your own opinion. And that doesn't have to do with the player relief fund that people are trying to create during the situation of coronavirus and everything like that. That has nothing to do with you. I think after Bartoli made these remarks, I think a lot of players came to the defense of doubles, especially one player, Gabby Dabrowski. She is one of the top women's doubles players in tennis. She is, she has won the Grand Slam in mix. She has been a runner-up at Wimbledon. We even did an interview with her at the Rogers Cup last year. And I think she is one of the best voices to come and bring people together when it comes to understanding what doubles is about and understanding what we can do to move forward when it comes to player relief fund. She's on the WTA Players Council. So she does have a great insight into this topic. And when she heard these remarks by Bartoli, she came out and said that her doubles player, they make 19% less than a singles player, which is crazy. 19% less on average than a singles player. And doubles players, for that matter, don't even get the appreciation or court time when it comes to that. I have seen firsthand the schedules and practice schedules of players, and when it comes to singles, singles has always been a priority over doubles players. That's just a known fact. And when it comes to doubles players getting court time, they may be pushed to play earlier in the morning before singles players even get up, maybe later at night when players are starting to get off, because mainly the court time has been prioritized for singles players, period. That's just a known fact if you ask people around the tour. For someone like Bartoli, who has played doubles and singles, who has had better results in singles, and then to come out and say, oh, we should just move this money and give it to the singles players that are struggling. Doubles players are tennis players. That doesn't make any sense for me, or for anyone for that matter. I'm. For me, it's just hard to understand where she's coming from. And when she said she's not going to make any friends, no, she's not going to make any friends from this statement. 100% she's not going to make any friends from this statement. I don't understand how you can say that doubles players, it seems like an attack on doubles players and calling them not proper athletes, that we should only have them in majors and Olympics just for the tradition, not for any other competition-wise as well. It's kind of... It's kind of frustrating to see because doubles for me is a fun way to play tennis and to have competing doubles tournaments is so much fun to watch and I think a lot of players that watch doubles understand that it is fun, it's fast paced, it's very entertaining. So for me it might be because I'm a more of a tennis fan than other people but doubles is still a fun way to watch tennis no matter what. And some of these doubles players can do a lot of great shots and show their great athleticism. I think Mary Bartoli is just wrong, and some of her compatriots from France disagree as well. French player Edouard Roger Vasseline said that he was hurt by these comments because in France, they take a lot of pride in their doubles, especially during the French Open. Landanovic has won the French Open title. Garcia has won the French Open title. Roger Vasseline has won his lone Grand Slam at at the French Open. Nicolas Mahout and Pierre Herbert have been one of the best doubles player partners in the world and it seems that she doesn't get why people don't like these comments. So when he came out and said these remarks that he didn't agree with her and it's a little disappointing, I agree because it seems like the French Federation takes pride in their doubles players. They have some of the best doubles players in the world and this was a way for her to kind of insult them in a way because it's it's just unfair to say that and not give them a platform as well because it's it's very annoying to see someone of her caliber who's won a grand slam and just not consider any anyone who plays doubles to be an athlete or give them i wouldn't say an athlete but give them the respect that they deserve as tennis players very annoying to see that and very frustrating because the way she said it was I guess derogatory towards players that have been working their hardest to make a name for themselves and to win doubles grand slams. It's, I think, insulting. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. I think she's completely wrong. I think this was one of the worst takes I've ever heard in tennis, especially coming from someone who's been on the tour and won a singles grand slam title and played doubles for that fact, reached number 14 in the world for a career high. I. I just think it's completely wrong. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I hope all of you are staying safe during this quarantine and during this coronavirus pandemic. 
If you want to see more videos like this or want to see me make a video about something, leave it in the comments down below, as well as making sure you leave a big like on this video, as well as making sure you subscribe to Tweener and Antennas. Thank you again, guys, for the 1,000 subscribers. I'm very appreciative of it, and I couldn't have done it without the, you guys, so thank you guys so much. If you guys want to check us out on all our social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the links to those are down in the description below, as well as our website at tweenerheadtennis.com. And I hope to see you guys next time for our next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Thanks, guys.